guys. It is a stormy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in uh, Garfield, Texas here on, uh, this would be Wednesday morning, April 22nd, 2020, which means it is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day and uh, Oh yeah, so my name is Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles, and this is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza, on the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So uh, I was trying to figure out how to play Earth Day. Uh, the first thing I was going to do is just see how the mainstream media was reporting on the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and there's just one problem. There is no mention anywhere on the mainstream media of the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Uh, at least on Yahoo News, you know, on the day's top stories on the planet, any mention of uh, the 50th anniversary of Earth Day completely obliterated off, uh, which is the case of any environmental news on the planet, and we all know why. There is absolutely a blackout of, uh, of environmental news uh, on the mainstream media and pretty much on the alternative media. Uh, but we are not going to go there. We all know why that there is simply no more environmental news. The environment uh, as, a, as a news story on this planet does not exist on the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So uh, failing that, you know, I thought that I would just do one of my, uh, one, one of my usual just uh, flippant, glib rants of, about how Earth Day is an absolute slap in the face uh, to this planet. The very notion of Earth Day uh, it, it is, is beneath my contempt, pretty much, uh, since I am not an environmentalist. People continue to uh, confuse me with an environmentalist, whatever. Uh, since I am not a, an environmentalist, uh, I, I understand why Earth Day is an absolute insult to the Earth. Uh, so anyway, I'm glad to say at least some of the alternative media is making a little nod to Earth Day, and I am so sorry, I cannot remember which one of my Alert Tribes members sent me this essay from Al Jazeera. We have to go over to Al Jazeera uh, to uh, find any mention of Earth Day. And this is how, uh, and so I thought we're, go we're just going to take the sweet route we're going to take the sweet route and we're going to listen to a, and I guess this is a, I don't know if you would call this an essay, it's not exactly a poem, by, I guess this is a woman, Dorth, D-O-R-T-H-E, Nors, N-O-R-S. So Dorthe, or however you pronounce her name, we're going to choose your essay as the Collapse Chronicles nod to the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. <clears throat> if the Earth could speak the ocean. So we are going to hear what the ocean would have to say to the planet on the 50th day of Earth Day, uh, if it could speak. Take it away, Dorothy and tell us what the ocean has to share with us today. <clears throat> here I am, here you have my salty teeth, my endless kiss goodnight. Here you have 
your big unknown. Call me ocean all you want. We both know better, and for one, I am no liar. I am where you came from, your primordial soup, your point of departure, the beginning of time. When you look at me, you are looking at your past and your future rising to get you. You are paging through the family album, and there I am, your ancestral mother, the very space that nursed the specimen that would become you. <coughs> Prepare for a wet and salty hug. I am getting up from my chair to kiss you. I guess the ocean does not practice uh, social distancing. I wish you could see this picture of this Mad Max mask <laughs> that they are selling. Uh, anyway, back, back to the, this pretty essay. It is all for love. It was always just for love, but not just for the love of you. Matter meets time and things start growing. I spent eons longing for movements down below. A current here, a sparkle there, and you have no idea how small you were when you finally fluttered. My abyss holds many mysteries, but do not flatter yourself. I created many enigmas before you. I was a great botanist. I made anemones. I was a great botanist. I made anemones. I think anemones are animals. Anyway, oh, let's not cut hairs here. I was a great botanist. I made anemones, kelps, weeds, corals, and algae. And I blew life into jellyfish, starfish, any kind of fish, even the ones that you would later prey upon. But there you were, finally. Tail thin, gills and all, swimming blind, and not too smart in your prebiotic broth, your little skeleton resembling that of a shrimp. Lucky you, that earth was still barren. Imagine the beings that would have considered you a tasty first course. White wine, Friday night, your fragile little self trying to escape a plateful of dill at a candlelit supper. <laughs> but it was all for love. The whales were for love. The shoals of beautiful herring, cod, mackerel, tuna. The tuna was for love. The dolphins, who with their grace and good nature, had made better masters of the world for love. The octopus, eight arms and all that ink, just for love. But then your brain started growing. And this, I admit, I was impressed. That brain of yours, the ideas, the creativity, the imagination, I wanted you to go and make something better of yourself. Not that I could stop you. Not then and there. And how I wept when you crawled upon the land. <clears throat> you and all your desires. You and your awareness of death. You and your love of tools. I still gave you food. I nourished you, and in the beginning, you thanked me. You named gods after me. But as times passed, you felt ashamed of that connection. I was not posh enough. You felt tainted by association, but still, you robbed me. Your brain kept growing but your soul withered. Is this a way to treat your mother? And remember, 
I did not make you a sole heir. I wanted you to share with all the beings that came from me, your brothers and sisters with gills and even those with wings in the air. I will admit I had a soft spot for you. I have admired your boats and ships more than you can imagine. For thousands and thousands of years, I have left, let them cross me. I have felt their bows like fingers running over my skin. I have been caressed and scratched by your oars. I have lifted your vessels, filled your nets, and I have pulled you under, smashed you, drowned you. So you would know about the force of this being, the freedom I gave you, the connections I offered you. I taught you how to swim, to navigate by the stars, and to pay attention to the force that is within you. <clears throat> I gave you everything, and you thanked me with plastic, theft, and warfare. And yet, I see you walking on the beach. You gaze at me. You pace back and forth like a beast in a cage. What is it that you want from me now? Guidance? Absolution? Peace of mind? I will give you this. A kiss. I am your past Pay attention. I am time itself. <clears throat> Your future rising to get you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Mother, Mother Ocean. Anyway, I cannot think of a finer way to celebrate the uh, 50th anniversary of the most insulting day of the year, giving our, our mother one day a year so we can go back to business the other 364 days. Uh, and then, of course, we created Earth Hour that uh, a full 24 hours was, uh, was too much uh, for Mother Earth. So we whittled 23 hours of that away. Anyway, guys, uh, I am thrilled to say that I need to wrap this up because I am getting ready to call John Zerzan. I'm getting ready to have a conversation with that uh, curmudgeonly old, what does he call himself? An anarcho-primitivist. John Zerzan on, uh, on the 50th anniversary of Earth Day to see uh, what John has to say about the state of the planet today. And I am going to be posting that interview on Sunday, May 3rd to wrap up two years here at Collapse Chronicles uh, and kick off the third year do you believe that it has been two years? But, uh, anyway, I will put the link to this excellent essay by Dorothy Norse and uh, spread it around. And if you liked what Dorothy Norse had to share with you <clears throat> on the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, please spend a few seconds to uh, to thumb up this video and if you would like to subscribe over here that would be great to make up with the loss of I don't know at least 100 subscribers that I have lost over the past month can't imagine why <clears throat> but if you want to start building our numbers back up here at Collapse Chronicles please take a moment to subscribe Happy Earth Day. Get out there and enjoy planet Earth while you still can because it's coming 
to get you. Bye, guys.